Oh, you all right? Oh, no! F*** me. Circus. We've got Manitoba Charles. We have Seth from Utah Enduro Adventures. Andy again. And our new friend Gunner. Um, this is uh, a really dumb trail. We're at uh, Cliffhanger. This is a 4 plus on a 1 to 5. Uh, it's pretty stupid. There's going to be some sections that we're going to manhandle bikes, I have no doubt. So we may get um, three minutes of <laughs> this trail and call it. Uh, I'm not sure. We're going to find out though. T7, T7, 790, 790, 500. Yep, cliffhanger's been in my head for quite a while. <clears throat> and there's some obnoxious steps and stuff on here that uh, we're going to have to deal with. <laughs> Getting back up them, of course, is the bigger problem. What's that? It is pretty sketchy, I agree. Coming up, this stuff's gonna be a pain in the ass. Nice work, buddy. <laughs> Speed! Yep. Fuck that one up. Nice. nice! Awesome, dude. A little more graceful than mine, but you made it. That was not graceful at all. That was pretty good. It was smooth. It it's better than my leg bounce. Oh, almost bucked me right off the bike. Try and save everybody's backs today. I went to dab and I couldn't dab. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's only one line. And that's the one hey, Charles. Yeah, that's that's the one done. Charles just did. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, agreed. Probably take this left line here, cut right. Up. That's the only one, I think. Yeah. I'd go swirling, I would, I would go that way. Yeah. Not 
very clean today. Been riding for like six days straight. It's true. Too bad. There's not much run up here. Not bad, not bad. Shit. Dope. But you didn't fall off the edge, so I call that a win. Yeah. Nice. Come on, Super Seth. <laughs> Go team. <laughs> you look a little lackluster today. This upside down bike video brought to you by the Camel Gut Guard. Thanks for the product placement, Seth. Of course, that's what I'm here for. All right, how do you want to drag this around? Got nothing to grab onto here. One, two. Yeah, and we're good. I thought I had it. I thought you had it too. You're being super timid because you're back. I yeah, know because I, I do it. As soon as it went, I was like, fuck this game. Yeah, you were riding different than I've ever seen you ride. You wanted more technical, so. What's that? Well, we were riding yesterday and he was like, ah, oh, I, I would like more technical. Well, we got more technical for you. you it. It's not, it's bad, but it's not as bad as I was expecting. Well, we're not, yeah, it's, I, I didn't know what to expect. None I mean, of this was on the video was difficult. What's that? None of this was on that video was difficult. Yeah, so none of this stuff even ever gets, no one ever even shows this stuff this on the not, video. This is the easy stuff. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, I'm kind of scared now. Yeah, we'll see. Seth is a really, really, really good rider. I've, I've ridden with him a yeah. bunch. Yeah. His, he has a bad back and it is messing with oh, his head so and he's not. being very timid. He's not being himself. He's never been like this since he's I've ever ridden. Normally a savage. He's a hammer. He would he would hit that so hard and fast, but I he wouldn't even pre-look at it. He would just go. Nice. Nice and smooth. How's that radio not killing you? What's that? How's that not driving you mental? <laughs> that squealing? It's the bike. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, was that fuel? Gas tank pressure. You want to see a fuel geyser? So this is a super common thing on the KTM adventure bikes. They build they build pressure in the fuel tanks. I thought that was your radio. Go. I don't want to pop it. Oh my god, look at that. God, that's so gnarly, dude. Remember when we got to the top of co Cottonwood? And both of our 790s were like f***ing boiling? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe they haven't fixed that yet. No, the response is always, you must have a pinched vent hose. I know. Which I very much do not.
Yeah, this is full. <laughs> you can get to here, no problem. Or here. Well, even to there, though, without some oh. rock stacking. There's a rock stack straight off the end there. Oh, yeah. So up that. So this rock in here. You can get up here. Let's we'll put a few more rocks. We're probably two miles. You think we're two miles two, in already? Two or four? I don't think so. No? I don't know. Miles messed me up. This, past, this looks what? really crazy. Yeah, I like that one, Charles. Four rocks oh, okay. in there and there. Yeah. So ramp up here. Straight up, here. stop, reset, go. Yeah. Sorry, is this an out and back or? Out and back, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so we, we gotta, come back we gotta do this. all this shit on the way out. Well, it's mostly down now. This is dumb as what this is. Uh, yeah, that's why we're here. Have you met us? We <laughs> <laughs> <I> got you. <laughs> You're good. Uh, thanks, boys. Almost. Ready? Five. Three, two, one. Go. Oh. <laughs> That ain't happening. If you go, your tire's gonna grab right there. This is the, this is the spot here. The crux of the whole thing. And you can see how high we are. Very is the answer. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh. Ain't that a bitch. <sighs> Figured this was gonna be about this. So I'm intentionally dropping the bike into the groove here. <laughs> oh, it's back. This is gonna be some stacking on the way up. Woo! Dude, sometimes you gotta just do it. You got it, buddy, go!
Just when I was thinking, oh shit. Oh no! Oh no! F me. You gotta be kidding me. Well, that came to an abrupt end. Where did that break? Just right here? You oh, I nailed it. I had it right up here. Oh. You, oh. catch, you caught the peg or you, the bike fell on it? Uh, one, I don't know. I don't know. There's not even a flaw in that material. That's just like, uh, it's aluminum, man. It can only take so much. It's a casting, isn't it? No, oh, let's bill it. Let's bill it. So, having a, having a good day. I'm not going to say making short work of it, but getting it done. And then this stupid fucking break. Because I'm not going to be able to ride any of this shit sitting. No. I'm kicking the dick. That sucks, so. Pretty much sucks, yep. We're trying to come up with a plan because we want to finish this trail, but then we still have to get out. Even if we turn around and go back, this is uh, <laughs> it's not an easy way out, man. This is not a sit down trail on an 80 meat bike. Yeah, so uh, we're going to, we're going to do some noodle in here and see what we can figure out so my kind of plan is to take something stick it in here drop this pin back in and then bend it over so i have something to stand on this is obviously going to stick out so far it's going to be a problem so I'm, seth has got a short tire iron in theory anyway so maybe we can make that work i have i think i have a crescent wrench hold on oh wow that Bent a little too well, easy. Yeah, that's, I think that's, that's gonna, gonna crack. Be, that's gonna be the problem, right? Yeah. It's right on that bend. One of the side by side guys will definitely have a hammer. Just use your tire iron to bend it. And a case of beer. Well, it's gonna fucking snap right there, so probably. If I uh, like, uh, yeah, take your pick. Yes. Insane. Like get that in there too. Just whatever you can. I don't know how we hold it. Know how we hold it together? I got bailing twine and. A wrench that Corey broke in half. And, uh, that he broke in and a foot peg that seems to kind of somewhat be back to where it <laughs> needs to be. <laughs> I can think of nothing worse than you trusting that trip peg on the technical <laughs> section and then just like jamming Put your foot down and ooh, your fucking ACL just or something. Gifts out. Yeah, no, agreed. It's okay because I'm going to be I'm riding Tight. on the inside anyway. So I think we're good. All right, well, this is what we got going on. Bailing wire, zip tie, hose clamp, and snap a wrench in half. I'm just gonna have to keep my weight up high. See what we can do. So I've got my weight in real tight, so there's not a lot of leverage on the outside of that peg, which I think is the best. Oh. Feels weird though. Aha! Uh -huh. Definitely chose poorly here. Definitely chose poorly.
Send it, Bobs. Woo! <laughs> Woo! It's a long way down. How's it holding up? <laughs> Not at all. Oh no! <laughs> Nice. Oh, look at a little sideways. Certainly did. Nice. A few options there. Nice, nice, go, go, go. Oh, you all right? Is it gone? Um, it's, all right. One, two, three. Broke the clamp, ah, shit. I'm just gonna stand on the mess. We'll just cut the peg out of there. Stand up. Can you grab the clamp there? I got the bike set here. Yeah, the peg situation has my confidence a bit rattled. <sighs> Corey's peg did not hold in that last crash. And now we're headed to a pretty challenging climb and he's basically standing on the peg mount. He's not even really on the peg. The peg's not there, we took it off. That was loud. He doesn't have anywhere to put his foot, so on this bumpy downhill shit. He's having a real hard time, but he's a trooper doing it. Alright, there's that climb that I'm nervous about. Probably gonna walk it. Because it looks sketchy. I feel like if you don't have momentum and you stop at all on this, you're just not gonna make it. It's gonna be hard. You hit this, as long as you can get on top of it, you're straighter versus you have that. But this yeah. is a pretty. So, you really gotta hit it. I need, I want someone standing there. Okay. And here, and I'm okay. coming around here. 
And I'm going to stop there okay. and reset for that. Okay. You're going up to Baby Heights, you said? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's the, that's my plan is I'm going to be banking that way and then stop. Yeah. Um, can someone want to do a front wheel hole? Yeah. We're stuck right here. Ready? I think we need to pick the front end up and get it on this. And then pull it forward, right? is like right where everything's a problem. You gonna stand over here? We're just gonna have to push it. We're gonna have to heave it. Okay. Nice. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's walk it up. That's not safe. It's not gonna take off. Yeah, I don't wanna flip it. Alright. You guys ready? Yep. One, two, three. Is that the tractor power? Thank you, sir. Well that was better than I expected it to go. That went well. That was cool. Smells like rubber. That was a good team effort, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Charles in charge. Jesus, man. Nice work. Barely, barely even video worthy, but. Overkill Andy looking to do the same line that Charles did.
Nice, looking good, looking good. Got it. Oh. oh, I don't got it. Don't got it. Well, good thing I didn't hit that fast. That would have been bad. Do you think we can lift it up and over it? I think where you are, at a 45, hump the front end over and go. It's all icy. Yeah, the problem is you can go this way too. Ooh, you're the right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what like right here and then stop. We're gonna just have to do exactly the same thing we just did with Seth. Oh. Except I was hoping to get a little further than that. Am I on this skid plate? Or? Yeah, you're sitting on a skid plate, but I think if you bounce it, you might be able to get up and out. 
Nice to done. That's way easier. <laughs> we right. should get these. These are way easier. Yeah, do they sell those here? Like what? No, oh. not in the states. What is that magical? Those thing? are just Canadian only bikes. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> 